What's up geezers, my name is Duddits, I do builds and stuff and today I want to talk to you about Necrochasm and Necrotic Grips, how it can spread poison and we're going to show you how to sever infinitely and debuff enemies infinitely as well with this weapon Necrochasm, Care Springer, Precision Final Blows with this weapon, trigger a Cursed for All Explosion Final Blows with Cursed for All Explosions, refill the magazine Pretty awesome pet combo but it's also got Desperado basically on there Just call it Desperation but reloading after a precision final blow or a final blow with a cast fall explosion increases your rate of fire, improves stability and aim assist. It's a bit like Desperado, but this is what the gun does. Precision final blows just cause, well, what can I say? Just explosions like so. It's absolutely disgusting. Get a kill with that, reload, and you increase your rate of fire. As well as all them crazy explosions, you can pair these with necrotic grips. We used to see necrotic grips of Osteostriga and Glaives, but you can actually run this with the uh, Necrochasm as well. Damaging combatants, poison them, dealing increased damage over time, defeating poison combatants, spread the condition. This actually works with Necrochasm, so you've literally got cast for, for all explosions everywhere. You've got the explosions from the weapon itself, perk, and then on top of that, you are going to be able to spread poison, just like you can with the Osteostriga builds. Obviously, you can run this with glaives as well. Necrotics obviously also work with your melee. So we've got all different ways of spreading that poison. But it's just, just something very magical about getting cast for all explosions like that from the precision hits. And then just watching the explosions go and all of the poison spreading. There is something very, very magnificent about it. I'm not going to say it's really insanely as good as Osteo. Because uh, I think a lot of people like Osteostriga. Osteostriga is still well up there, but this is absolutely insane as well. But if you pair it with Mind Spun Invocation, especially your Shackle Grenade, whenever you consume your Shackle Grenade, you're going to enter Weaver's Trance, and everything you kill is going to suspend. It spreads like a suspension burst, like that, so it's absolutely crazy. You've got all sorts going on. You're suspending enemies, causing cursed for all explosions left, right, and centre, spreading poison. Thread of Wisdom is a really good one to run one of these fragments because all of these suspended targets that you kill, you're going to create orbs, so it's absolutely nutty. A nutty little combo. Once you've got your uh, Weaver's Trance going, you feel like you are weaving reality. You are running around like Neo from the Matrix, just bending reality, uplifting enemies, spreading poison, Curse for alls left, right and centre. Poison left, right and centre It's absolutely nuts. And then on top of that, we could boost this out even further because it's really, really good, this weapon, with one of the seasonal perks, Rapid Fire Ranger. Rapid precision hits, going to weaken them, add a 15% debuff. And this weapon, because it fires so fast, it's almost instantaneously how you can debuff these enemies from any more than 25 meters. My fragments are like to run an Aspects Man, Spun Invocation, which we've already gone over to consume your Shackle Grenade. Weaver's Call, cast your Rift, to weave three threadlings, I found this one was a good fit. Shackle Grenade, which obviously you need for your Weaver's Trance. Arcane Needle, which is perfect because it unravels and spreads poison via the Necrotic Grips. Any Rift you want, I like Healing Rift, but if you're feeling a bit frisky, go with Empowered. Thread of Continuity, Suspend, Unravel and Sever effects applied have increased duration. Thread of Generation, Dealing Damage, Generates Grenade Energy. And then the next one, which we're going to focus on a little bit more in a moment, Thread of Isolation, Landed Rapid Precision Hits, emits a Severing Burst, and then Thread of Wisdom, which again we've just literally touched on, create loads of orbs, so that works perfectly with your Weaver's Trance. And like I've said before, once you've got everything going on, you are, well, what can I say, just magic starts happening basically, you've got Curse for All Explosions, Poison everywhere, you're severing everything, you are debuffing everything, and this whole setup, this whole little build, is absolutely crazy. I've loved this, I haven't really had that much time to use it, because I got the gun from Krota last night, just after 6 o'clock, so I was pretty lucky. Thread of Isolation, this is what I want to focus on. Landed Rapid Position Hits, emits a severing burst from a target, so if you just look at Carl now, he's covered in green sever, like a green severing effect. That is going to sever him and enemies around him as well. It's a 40% damage reduction. Pair that with Rapid Fire Ranger and you're debuffing and severing. So it's a really good little combo. And I just want to sort of touch on as well to pair with this weapon a nice glaive because that obviously works with Necrotic Grips as well. So an all round decent little setup. 
especially with the severing added on there that was just a little bonus i just wanted to throw it in there and show you that as well so i'm just going to go over my mods on my legs i really think this gun weapons from a, uh, this benefits from a couple of kinetic weapon surges sorry so stick it two or three of them on i would highly recommend on my class item, I ran a Reaper mod. Every time I use my class ability, your next weapon final blur is going to create an orb of power. Then I stacked double bomber to reduce my grenade cooldown for my Weaver's Trance. On my chest piece, I always sort of mix, can match them up with whatever I'm doing. I always want a concussive dampener and then an arc resistance or solar or void, whatever the activity is at the time. On the exotic gauntlets, I like to run heavy handed, you use plenty of melees, you get two of them on this build, so your powered melee final blows create an orb of power, two impact inductions causes damage with a melee attack, reduces your shackle grenade for your weaver's trance, so I'll just built into grenade, recharge rate, kinetic siphon, rapid kinetic final blows create an orb of power, and I also like to run one of these, which again you can change this up, arc strand siphon, I was running arc and strand weapons, but you could change that up, and then on top of that, a nice heavy ammo finder which works perfectly because it's an exotic primary but that pretty much wraps up the video i'll leave the full build playing out at the end and i'll leave a dim link in the video description thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this one have a great week